here we are at Greyland Park. Can you believe in the 1960s, this was New Zealand's premier track and field athletic stadium. The whole family was involved in track and field. My dad had represented New Zealand in four Olympic games and my mother, my sister and I all represented New Zealand in track. And we, this was our lives. We trained here and the sort of exercises that we did in training for track and field became the exercises that we put into body attack. I went away to university in the US. I had a track scholarship at UCLA in 1974 and saw the birth of aerobics there. And when I came back four years later to New Zealand, uh, I said to my dad, we had a public gym by that stage, uh, and I said, we should do this. We should do some exercise, some music classes because they're great. We wanted to do something which was more like what we did, which was track and field training. Piney running, sprint thrusts that we call mountain trainers now. Actual running around the room like we used to run around the track and shuttle runs and things like that. Along with a bunch of the old traditional sports conditioning exercises. Some of the old calisthenics that have been done forever. And really what we did then was we created the, the world's first modern athletic group workout. This was totally revolutionary when we introduced this to New Zealand in 1979, 1980. No one had ever seen anything like it. We had people lining up up the streets for 50 metres to, to get in, to come down the stairs into our basement studio. And uh, people just went nuts for this stuff. Really, the studio would comfortably hold about 60, maybe 80 people, and we were cramming up to 150 people in there. It was, it was insane. Body Attack is still really what it was in 1980. It's still the same workout. It's a basic uh, sports conditioning workout that is based on track and field. But of course, uh, it was met with horror by the fitness establishment at the time. It was considered very un-PC. Body Attack was scientifically ahead of the game when it first came out because uh, most people were steady state training in those days. They were just spending a long time on a treadmill at low intensities doing the same thing over and over again and Body Attack created this new approach to exercise. Uh, we worked out at a high base of intensity and then we had these little spikes of intensity on top of that that took people into these higher training zones which just hadn't been done in those days. And now the science has caught up with that. There's a lot of science around those spikes of intensity being really effective at transforming fitness and body composition. So I think Body Attack was one of the first programs to really start to use that as an approach. And I think that was because it was designed by athletes, people who really like to train. And you know, they knew how they'd want to train, they knew what kind of results they were after, and they just set the program and designed it that way. Body Attack has the science, but it also has the emotional effect. I believe that one of the things that has made Body Attack last for so long is how it really serves people emotionally. They come together in this massive group with a common purpose. It's kind of what we call the group effect. And they get this feel of team camaraderie, all going towards this common goal of exercise and fitness. But it's more than that. It's really that group effect and that team supporting each other, which supports you not only physically, but also emotionally towards people's goals. It's quite a spectacular thing.